after the game on Sunday, Roy Keane sat in the Sky Sports studio and said that uh, Erling had a general play at the level of a League Two player. In terms of front of goal, he's the best in the world. But for his general player, for such a player, it, it is so poor. Not just today, I think it, he has to improve that. He's almost like a League Two player. That's the way I look at him. His, his general player has to improve, and, and it will do over the next few years. This, being this brilliant striker is fantastic, but to, he has to improve his all-round game. Uh, what do you make of that uh, verdict? I'm not agree with him. Absolutely not. It's like he said, he's a manager for the second or third league. I don't think so. So, he's a, the best striker in the world. And if he helped us to win what we won last season. And the reason why we don't create my chances is not for Merlin. Is we need more presence in the final third with more people. And we play an exceptional game. I reviewed the game against Arsenal, but just we miss more people in the final third. Maybe for the quality, different skills that we have, but uh, Erling is exceptional. When you've, um, when you've finished management, in however many years that's going to be, would you ever fancy being a pundit? Pundit? Yeah. Depends on the offer. Just you've had to, you know... If you have your salary, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've had to sit there for years and years and have pundits talk about your players. You know, you I'm surprised this come from former players. For the journalism, I can understand, but never been on the pitch. But the former players always are surprised. It's like the referees, when retire, criticize the referees when they were there. How difficult is that business for the players? Always surprised me. The memory <laughs> disappeared quick. The problems the players they have, they had. The lack of misactions, they miss it a thousand million times. And they were hurt when they were criticized for the former players. But today is where it is. So we have to accept it and move forward. So that's why I, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But uh, I'm not the guy going to criticize my colleagues when I retire. I'm going there. It should be this, it should be that, it should be that. Well, I could do it now. And I don't do it. It's easy to sit in. But everyone has to live, you know, for something. And with the, because obviously the, what, whenever a pundit says something on, on television, it's all it's everywhere, isn't it? It's all over social media. And the players probably can't escape it. How difficult do you think it is for, for them personally? Well, they have to do it. So it, it's the job. So accept it. You, you do want to accept that. As a football player, you have to dedicate another job. Like read books or more intimate, you know, when you are in this amount of public uh, figure, so you have to accept it. 